Hello, we're doing uh, New Texas with the C fixed trucks today. Man, I've had a, a rough string of um, oval races here. A real rough string. I think part of it's I'm out of practice and not doing so well, and then part of it's just guys are driving like crazy and there's wrecks everywhere. Having a rough time. It looks like I've been placed into second split this time around, which I think is for the best. Because <laughs> um, I just did a, a Kansas race in the, in the B-Fixed, and uh, not only was that just a complete garbage fire, but uh, I made a mistake too at one point, and felt terrible about it, still feel terrible about it now. <laughs> And uh, I was like the 24 of 24 cars in that race, and uh, I raced like it too. It was not good. Um, it's been a while since I made such a bad mistake, because the only way you can pass there is to uh, do like slide jobs, and um, tried to get it done, and uh, let me make sure I get through the most important corner somewhat decently. Um, yeah, I was trying to get it done, and... Uh, I got into someone, I lost track, I had passed the guy I was supposed to, but I lost track of another guy, and I got into him, and felt really bad about it, but, uh, I mean, the whole race was just a huge mess anyway, just guy. there were intentional wrecks in our caution, and, and it was one of the highest strength of field races I've ever been into, and everyone was just racing like absolute maniacs, so, that's a thing, but, uh, so that's why I'm kind of glad, step back for this race, maybe and uh, do some second split and uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not the number one truck either which is also good number six so good competition around me too and uh, just see how I can do here um, first now but I got in there real quick and the second lap I think is going to be faster for everybody so we'll probably lose the pole if I had to guess well, we're a nice tenth up right now but um, you can easily lose that, but not too worried about it. Feeling pretty good. I like Texas much more than Kansas too. Kansas is a mile and a half, but like I said, just a uh, slide job central over there, and everyone just always is running into everyone at all times. It feels like so. Um, Texas is pretty one groove as well, but at least uh, the groove's on the bottom, so you don't get that nonsense. <clears throat> I'm just hoping for a good finish. I just need a decent, clean race, because, uh, man, my spirits are down on oval racing right now. <laughs> it's been rough. But, uh, P1 holding pretty good. I've got a tenth up on second still. Not paying attention in overdriving corner. Yeah, that's a thing too. Sure, I can do a, a fast lap, but I'm gonna have to make sure I can uh, save the tires too. I'm thinking um, you're always gonna be flat out through here. I don't think that's gonna change. Make sure you don't get loose, because that's very much possible. And then uh, one and two is where you really gotta get it right. And. Uh, Make sure I'm down near this line. Don't smash on the gas at any point. Hopefully I can avoid doing that. And uh, hopefully I don't get run over from behind either while I'm trying to s keep my tires happy. Don't want to get run over by guys that are going for it on lap one. And we'll see what happens. Still P1 by 10th. I guess that's where I'm going to be. All right. Pretty good start. To this session. Yeah, I think that's how I'm going to be taking this corner. It's not the fastest, but I think that'll, that might be uh, better for me long term. I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like I outthink myself sometimes and make myself worse by trying to do some like alternate line instead of just uh, driving. Hard to say. I needed like a, a crew chief looking at my uh, my data and being like, "Well, you you lose this amount of time in this corner, but you should be able to maintain it." Blah 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 blah. <laughs> and then I can ask for 
a drink of water on my pit stop. You know, all that stuff. <laughs> That's, uh, all right. We're about to get kicked out here in a moment, and we got our P1 pull time. But uh, it looks like we got, you know, like the number one truck didn't even qualify, so. Who knows if we are even the fastest guy in here for a hot lap. What tires we got? Two sets of tires, 40 lap race. Interesting. Now I gotta think about how I'm gonna lead the field, how I'm gonna... Uh, excuse me, how I'm going to um, start. I'm gonna do a late start, early start. I prefer earlier starts, I like spreading it out and stuff. But uh, I'll take a look at how they're behind, how they are behind me and maybe adjust based on that. It's not like I'm gonna be able to pull away, they're gonna have the draft. So there's no breaking away at this track, I don't think. That's why those, uh, I think those tires are going to be important. Maybe um, what I'll do is uh, I'll try to get a gap in these first laps, because apparently I'm uh, able to run the hot laps about a tenth faster. You know, on average, probably. I'm sure they could hit a 34. 30.4, I mean, just fine. Um, just maybe wasn't weren't able to do it on the practice laps, but uh, maybe run it hard the first couple laps, maybe, and get a little bit of distance first, so we don't get guys trying to dive it in on me. Hmm. Honestly, if I rip my tires off by getting a, a decent lead at the start or something, and I fall back but still survive, I'd be okay with that too. Like I said, I just want to survive a race for once. <laughs> Cause uh... Stay behind the race car. Man, it has not been going well. Lots of races I just, I don't even want to upload cause they, I just get wrecked out immediately and then there's nothing to watch from there. One to go, next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. Pit road is closed. <sighs> so... Is it first gear start? I think it's going to be a first gear start. They look pretty disorganized back there. There's trucks everywhere. I know we get that like sideways start in the pits. Sometimes, guys, it'll take a little while for that to unfurl itself and for everyone to get in their spots. Maybe more reason to do an early start here. I'm sure they'll, they're going to be able to catch up just fine though. It's not a huge field, I don't think. I don't remember what it is. 21 or so, 24. I don't remember. But, uh, right, we'll just try to get our uh, 55 or so, I guess, is the pace. Maintain that as well as we can. Um, uh, creep up onto my back. I mess that up. And we still got off pretty well. <clears throat> Alright. Are they going to wreck turn one? It's been happening a lot lately. Got some space. I don't even feel like I pushed it. <laughs> so, we'll uh, ease up. There we go. Turn the wheel as little as possible. Maybe save some tires, huh? I think you just gotta go full, full gas on the start here, to be honest. Or not at the start, at the in turns three and four. I don't think there's any reason to save tires. You're just uh, not even really going just that hard on the tires, I don't think. <clears throat> Alright, able to 
keep it up here. I still feel like I'm being nice to the vehicle, to the equipment. Oh man, it would be nice to have a green race too. Also haven't had that in a while. There we go. Wrap the bottom. A little bit of that Harvick line. I've been able to get some distance. A little bit more than I thought. I thought the draft was going to be able to keep them up a little bit more than that. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I like Texas. I think it's a fun track to drive. People hate it, but I like it. Maybe it's because I'm just decent at it. I was going to say good, but then I about <laughs> got loose on that corner. That would have been embarrassing. Hey, I'm great at this. Just loops it. Um, maybe it's just because I'm halfway decent at it, but uh, I don't know. I like having a track, a one and a half mile, where you have to actually lift on, on throttle, you know? Um, you still get that like fast paced three and four, so you get a little bit of both. I'm sad now because we got a yellow flag. I'm gonna go ahead and say it is too early. Pit. Am I though? No, I'm not. Uh, why are they gonna put me in this position? had a run down the back stretch. So you were going a little slower and doing the corner, I backed off, but I just put there. Hmm. Man, this is a tough spot to be in. I think I have to take tires. Do I? Man, my truck's still feeling good, though. Hey, am I blinking for anyone? Got a bad storm going around me. Just checking. Uh, no, but Keaton, I noticed Keaton was, uh... <sighs> Man, I don't like having to make this decision. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, thanks. Yeah, 18, you're blinking fairly frequent. It's not super bad, but... A bunch. Nope, we're not going in. Okay. Watching the guys behind me. I didn't want the whole field to pet me not. I'm going to say it's too early. All right. I thought about it, because if we go green to the end now, those uh, five laps or so are going to matter, but uh, yeah, track position is going to be important, and it looked like we were doing just fine. No other spot I wanted to be in. Really would have been nice you to uh, care what lap it was. get a green run. But here we are. Wonder what happened. Oh, where's this kid, Joseph? You're back. Point three, you did blink once so far, going into turn one. Yeah, 18, you're blinking pretty bad right now. You got some blinkers. Okay, yeah, first gear's the way to go. I'm gonna put it in second and make them think I chose second, though. Is that the way to go, though? Because I hit a. Hey, Bro, you in college? I hit the uh, 8,000 RPM really quick last time. I messed up my shift. I think that's. I think I just gotta be more on top of it this time. I think that's gonna be the way to go. And just not spin my tires, because it looks like there is a little bit of tire spin to worry about. <clears throat> I don't have to go. One to go. Man, I would really love this race to go well, because I've been stinking it up lately. It looks like my output keeps dropping. I think we did okay saving tires at the start, so I don't think they're going to have any sort of advantage directly behind us. So I don't think I pushed that hard. 
but uh, we'll find out if I'm wrong here in a minute. I always get too close to the pace car. Last time, at least. All right. Let's see if we can keep it up here. <laughs> Still. It's gonna be a little bit cooler again, so I gotta keep that in mind. Good. Pump my force feedback up a little bit from where it has been. I feel like maybe just that might help me a little bit too, because I think I've been keeping it. Thanks, there, 17. Keeping it too low. Gotta feel things a little bit better. Can't hold a line through a trial. We were three actually. They look like they're side-by-side uh, side back there, so that's going to help us out. Keep it smooth on the throttle. Still early though. Just gotta make sure that we're uh, running that low line. I think that's really key. So if I start uh, overdriving it and pushing up in the middle of the corner by hitting the throttle too hard, that's gonna wear out that front right. And uh, that's when I'm going to start getting too tight. Just it's just going to make that problem tight. worse. We got that draft, though. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on where they are. Ooh, I felt a little loose there for a second. Interesting to see how the tires are wearing. If the rears are getting uh, just as worn as the fronts. Okay, Colton. Times are pretty consistent. I really hope this lap truck is kind to us. Please. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, well, that's fine. Really would have preferred if he just took the high line instead of making me think I wasn't going to have my low line in 3 and 4, but we're fine, we're fine. All it did is give us a tiny bit of draft and make me have to enter that corner a little wider. Oh, just a tiny bit. I don't think it hurt much. Anything. I'll maintain that gap a little bit. They're 
catching up with just a tiny hair. Clean air is nice as well. These trucks can get some pretty bad arrow. Wow, dude, if you're gonna stick it in there, hold it down there. Go up down there. That was that. That's 1.2. Yeah, when you entered the corner. I feel getting a little tighter. Not that much. Trying to keep ahead of it by. Uh, Using up being easy on the tires when I can. B. Uh, he's making me nervous though. He's getting a little closer. No mistakes, just keep uh keep steady. it a little there. Might be underdriving it, so I thought I'd see how that went. A little loose, but we're fine. I actually gained a little on there. Hold it now. We're starting to gap them a little bit more now. That number's getting higher. That's what I like to see. Ooh, that was pretty loose there. If we could start fighting for that spot, that'd be great. That loose there lost me that little bit I gained. to the bottom. Pay attention to <laughs> not uh, getting loose there either. It's gonna be hard for him to pass me. Gotta keep that in mind as well. Because even when he gets close, he's gonna have arrow to deal with. So I just gotta avoid any big mistakes, I think. Maintain. Ooh, it's really getting loose in three and four. Thank you, that one. It's getting close enough to really start uh, catching for some draft. Sorry. Wasn't a very good corner. so loose all of a sudden. Yeah, he's here now. Hmm, now 
it's getting stressful. Why is it so loose? Oh my god. Alright, well now he's there. Doing. I'm so terrible. Almost feels like I wore my right rear too much. Now I'm super loose in three and four. Uh, okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Man, I'm terrible. I had to not make mistakes, and I made mistakes, and I let them get by me. So we'll be coming and. Uh, Getting those tires. Great job, there you go. Stop. I've been so bad at these lately, too. Definitely gotta come get him, especially if you didn't earlier. I think even if you did earlier, you still gotta come in. Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 45. I'm on pull, so I know I'm gonna be all the way up here. And out in the same spot. Okay. So, he made no mistakes either. Had just about equal pit stops. Now we gotta be on the outside, which really stinks. Sides of me. Why are we three wide and the caution is what I'm asking. <laughs> okay. Hopefully I didn't throw this one away. It's gonna be uh just going for it. Here now. No tire saving to be had. And they could easily start wrecking some more too. So I gotta keep that in mind.
much to say now. I'm just kind of nervous. I really like to get this win. I feel like I can do it, but I'm my own worst enemy. But I guess I gotta keep perspective in mind too. My initial goal coming in was just to uh, have a decent finish, so let me not uh, wreck myself trying to trying to get it. I'll have to be peeking out our left uh, window through the window net at him to try to get our start. We'll be in first gear. I just don't want to run around in first gear, make a bunch of noise. It's going to be six laps to go until there's a wreck in turn one. <laughs> I got to keep in mind not to be the wreck because uh, it's going to be cold tires. If I can get to the bottom, that'd be great. Try to get there as soon as possible. Starting P2 on a restart. It's always pretty tricky. Okay, Colter, be ready. We're going green. <sighs> go green. Stay focused. below us perhaps. See if they wreck back there, but Oh my god, I overdrove it. What am I doing? I'm so embarrassed. I'm awful. Frustrating. Just uh, had arrow push. I wasn't anticipating. That's why it was uh, overdriving so much. So well, we're back here now. I'll try to catch him in this draft. Making mistakes at all the wrong times. Okay, smooth through there. going on, they're gonna wreck. Oh my god. Back to the lead. Oh my god. Don't mess it up. 
Holy cow. How are we here? All I gotta do now is not... Oh, not get loose in this final corner. It's not one yet. Oh, he did it. Oh my god, what just happened? Holy smokes. Those guys are gonna be mad at each other. I'm gonna get away after, before they start killing each other. Whoa! <laughs> What a roller coaster. I got actual brother in the lap there. <sighs> Heart's pumping, man. That was a wild turn of events. We got back out front. Wow. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, we're gonna do some burnouts. <laughs> Yeah! Be gone, bad luck on Oval. This is where I get the, uh, the checkered flag. Wow, checkered flag, thank you. And then I give my interview. <laughs> yeah, you know, I thought I was out of it there for lots of people. I mean, if you were gonna walk all the way down there, you gotta go down all the way to the white line, dude. If you were down there, I wouldn't have oh, yeah, they're angry. But you left your room, so you already know. Two laps left. I'm, I'm sending it, dude. I'm fucking sending it. Yeah. It's a fucking video game. Of course I'm sending it. Oh, video game. <laughs> well, they're gonna fight for a little bit, so I'm not gonna sit here and listen to it. I mean, be well, I mean, all you want. I might. But if you would have went all the way but... to the white line, I wouldn't have done it. We're going to look at incidents at the same time. Make the most of our <laughs> time here on this earth. Okay. So we got lap one issues. 15 hit the apron. Looks like they sorted it out though. No further problems. One car making his way through the field. Nine's low on the track for some reason, so they kind of get a bit, a bit of a door touch. Very close racing. Even three wide. Oh, man. Survived, though. No? Oh, that wasn't that code. That didn't need to happen at all. Oh, that poor guy really paid for it, too. Was that the nine? Yeah. They didn't uh, actually touch, but they were close enough. Did he alt F4? Yeah, he alt F4 to uh, not wreck the field. That might have still brought out a caution, I think, but uh, he didn't want to wreck anyone else. So, I mean, let's consider it. Not very realistic, but consider it, I guess. <laughs> is what it is. Three wide through the triangle. It worked once. Did it work a second time? No, it did not. It somehow keeps it straight, though. You got some damage from it. I'm just on the outside and kind of comes down on that three. There goes all his momentum. Is he going to block the 23? No. A little wall, he was probably looking in his mirror. So he puts the block down. Just on the outside as he's passing us, and then I just hit the wall for no reason. It's embarrassing. So he's looking at him. That's how it happens, I guess. That I came and protected the bottom. I didn't block. I wasn't gonna, like, keep blocking him if he was gonna continue following me down there. But uh, he went around to the top, because I knew that by the time we exited uh, 1 and 2 here, as long as I didn't mess it up, um, I was going to have the momentum. I just want to be on the bottom as much as possible at Texas. So we eventually got second back. Ryan's getting loose. 
Uh, just got two loose, and the 14 caught up to him. He hit the apron, maybe? No, I think he was loose before he hit the apron. And the 14 has all this momentum, and then, yeah. It's unfortunate. There's him there. So this was that final restart. 21 kind of comes up and taps that 15. Looks like, uh, no harm done, though. Oh, 22, dude, low, and then came up and got him. I think his, his truck probably just got unsettled by that quick movement. The air's probably swirling around, doesn't problems. 15 gets under the wall. It's good of him not to bounce it off. Turn down and hit someone. So this is what won us the race. Yeah, that's what you're going to get late in, uh, late in the run. So the twos goes low to block it, and the one's like, hey, there's still room down here. And then it's just, it's one of those tough situations where this was going to be the race winning move for the number one, so he's not going to back out with the, at least this many laps. Two just didn't block all the way, so he didn't fully commit until it was too late, and then they get together. And they're like blocking the bottom lane here. The 16 was ahead of me, so he could have been the one to receive the spoils but he saw that they were down there so he starts moving up and uh, after they sort it out that's what it's kind of looking like I figured I want to be on the bottom even if that's lo looking pretty blocked right now so I kind of come down go around and then I have the momentum here And uh, I figured he was going to block if I tried to go low. So I go high knowing that I have enough momentum to get around him. And I get it done. And then thankfully I don't make any dumb mistakes. Through white flag. And then I... I want to say gifted the win. Which I guess I was. But I also did start pole and led the most laps. So I kind of like re-gifted myself the win. <laughs> re-gifted some socks. And that's the win. <laughs> so, that was an interesting way to do it, but we got back up there. And uh, then we got some goofiness, I guess. Or no, that's not even, that's lap 35? So the race is not over yet? I don't think that race is over, right? Is that just a glitch? I think that was just a glitch. I think that was actually the end of the race. And he's just goofing. So, yeah, that was the end. Should say lap 40, I don't know why it said 35. I guess he was laps down, potentially. Yeah, that's probably what it was. So, we got the win. All right, I think that might be my first oval win I've actually uploaded onto the channel. Nice. All right, and it was pretty dramatic at the end, so hopefully it was a fun one to watch. Um, kind of boring through the midway as I was just kind of uh, trying to maintain the lead, but lost it and got it back. So that made for some drama. <laughs> Thanks for watching.